Hi there, it's Donna the Astronomer coming to you from Coonabarabran on our third, I think, in this series on Venus. So more fun facts and bits of interesting information. Please feel free to leave me comments or questions that I can answer in another TikTok. But we'll start from here. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, which is fitting given its bright shining appearance in the night and the morning skies. It has no moons or rings, unlike the other planets in the solar system. This is likely due because it's so close to the sun, its proximity and the gravitational forces that are at play. There is evidence, however, to suggest that Venus may have had oceans in the past about 3 billion years or so ago, and there's ongoing research to investigate the possibility of colonising Venus by building floating cities in the upper atmosphere where the temperatures and pressures are much more Earth-like. Um, it's very interesting that there's some evidence from the NASA Magellan mission in particular in the 1990s, which used radar to map the surface, to reveal that there are features that could be interpreted as ancient the evidence of ancient waterbeds and river valleys, and some scientists believe there may have literally been liquid water on Mars in the past. So as for the, um, which I think is the most intriguing thing about this, this talk today, is the possibility of colonising Venus by building floating cities in its upper atmosphere. It's a topic of ongoing research and discussion among scientists and space enthusiasts. The idea is to create habitats that would float in the thick, acidic atmosphere of Venus, an altitude about 50 kilometres above the surface where the atmospheric pressure and temperature are similar to those on Earth. And se several proposals have been put forward as to how these cities might be constructed, including using blooms and blimps, or blooms or blimps, I guess, um, filled with helium or hydrogen to provide buoyancy, incorporating solar panels to generate power. However, there's a whole stack of technological um, challenges to overcome, including developing materials that can withstand the harsh conditions on Venus, such as the corrosive sulfuric atmosphere, um, sulfuric acid in the atmosphere. And of course, this is something for the young people of today to stand on the shoulders of the giants who've come before them and um, come up with some great solutions. This is the coolest thing about astronomy and space, is there is so much more we can do. Anyway, despite the challenges, some scientists believe that colonising Venus could be a viable option for human settlement in the future, particularly given the planet's proximity to Earth and the potential benefits of having a second habitable world in our solar system. However, much, much, much more research is needed before such a project could become a reality. Next, obviously, they're planning on going to the moon first with the Artemis missions and various other countries sending missions to the moon, even this this year. I think there's 10 missions going to the moon this year. And I think I heard that Elon Musk is actually thinking of being able to provide tourism trips around the moon for tourists. So we will see. But as for that, we'll talk about more about Venus tomorrow. Donna the